Yo, what's going on traders? Welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to identify the perfect setup. But before we do that, I want to remind you guys that the program that I have is still on sale for only $250. This is everything that you're going to receive in this program that I'm giving you is literally everything that I use to trade. It's all the knowledge that I've learned over these past seven years combined into a program. You're going to have access to my signal chat. You'll have access to my phone number to learn from me. But all you have to do is go to rorfx.com and if you guys do sign up check this out when you go to join now if you do go to the next page you'll see that you can add a promo code type in fx1 and it'll take off an even bigger discount without further ado let's get down to business i want to show you guys in this video like i said how do i identify the how do i identify the perfect setup and i want to remind you guys right off the bat that when you're trading you should really be taking two to three trades per week. And I know some of you are probably taking two to three trades per five minutes, every five minutes, two to three trades a day. But honestly, what, when I'm using this strategy, trading US 30, I like to just find really two profitable trades, especially because US 30 does move so much. So when I'm trading, I'm usually trading the New York session. That's the session that I like the most. I find that the market moves the most. And when I'm using this strategy, I'm usually on the five minute or I have both time frames together like this. I have the five minute here and then I have the minute 15. Okay. But for this video, we're going to focus on the five minute chart. Now, what I'm looking for is particular reversal candles. So if we look right here, we can see that we have a spinning top at 635. And I want to just like, this is very important for you guys to know. I want you to understand the whole logic as to why candles do a certain thing, why the market does this, why it does that. There's market makers that actually are the ones that move the market. They're the ones with large equity that are making the market do certain things. So I need to let you guys know this right off the bat. This is a 635 candle right here. This is 630. This is the open of the market. I want you guys to understand that when the market first opened up, look at how it has this long wick. I want you guys to understand for the first half of this five minute candle, probably for maybe one, two, three minutes, it was pushing up. And a lot of people, when they saw that happening, they're saying in their head, buy, buy, buy. And everyone is buying. And then you guys can see that all these people got trapped in buys in the market drop. They probably have their stop losses right here or a little lower, maybe down here. And we can see that the market completely dropped. And this is what happens. This is why I'm telling you guys right off the bat, I wait usually 10 minutes for the market open. So I'm trading at like 6.40, 6.45. That's when I'm gonna start looking for a setup. Why? Because in the open of the market, it's very hectic. Sometimes you guys can see that the market whipsawed up trapped everyone to go long and then it dropped and everyone right here they're like all right well i lost money on this trade right here let me go short and then they went short and then they got trapped as well we can see that we have a long wick right there a lot of people are selling right there got trapped and there's a reversal candle so if you were patient for 10 minutes you could have saw that beautiful spinning top right there and the thing with the candles i'm going to give you guys some real sauce right now a lot of the time when you see the wick is longer on the bottom than the top, that's giving us a really good sign that the market's gonna reverse and go up. Same thing vice versa. When we see a long wick to the top and there's maybe no wick on the bottom like this candle right here, that's usually giving us signs that the market is gonna drop. So wicks to the bottom, it's gonna go up. Wicks to the top, it's gonna drop. That's the saying that I have, okay? So we can see that it did go up, really nice move right there. And this could be a possible reversal time right here, 7 a.m. And I've talked about in my previous US 30 videos, if you're trading these times on the minute 15, it also correlates with the minute five, 6.45 is a good time, 7 a.m. and 7.15. So you can use the minute 15 and the minute five and confluence together to overall see what the market's gonna do. But this was a good time right here, 7 a.m. Rejected this golden zone right here, closed as a hammerhead candle. And that's where I would've taken my trade right there. That's a beautiful trade. And that's what I'm telling you guys. You're taking two to three trades a week. You're not taking two to three trades per session. Like stop over trading guys, because what we're focused on here, long term, obviously we want to think long term and thinking long term. You want to talk and think. you want to think about your account preservation. You want to preserve your capital. You want to make more every single week. It doesn't matter if one week you have $200 in profit on a thousand dollar account. Then let's say in two months, you're making $5,000 a month profit. 
your equity is going to get larger and once your equity and your account balance get it gets larger that means that you can trade with more capital or you can use bigger lot sizes obviously with bigger lot sizes you're going to see a bigger profit so there's a replay right here nice candle right there rejects our golden zone i would have went in a short by market execution so our stops would have been 605 pips so i want to let you guys know too when you're looking for your setup your stop loss correlates with your lot size and obviously your account size if so let's say you have a thousand dollar account you're risking three percent per trade your lot size needs to needs to come in confluence with your um stop loss however big your stop loss is to equal three percent that's a max loss you're going to take so i hope that makes sense to you guys okay so there's my entry obviously i like to go for a two to one risk reward ratio or i like to target certain golden zones so if we go down to this golden zone right here we have 1400 pips that's kind of a big move so i'm going to target i'm going to go double let's say 1200 pips is what i'm going to go after on this trade okay that's good right there Okay, first five minutes. Usually when you're in a trade, you wanna see a quick reaction. That's how you know you're on the right side of the market. So within five minutes, we see a nice move down. Okay, next candle. This is where I would have trailed my stop loss to entry at break even, and then I would have closed 50% of my profit. So if you're up on that trade right there, from your entry down to current market price right there, that's 715 pips. If you're using a 0.01 trade or lot size, that's $71. If you're using a 0.10, that's $700 right there within 10 minutes. So that's what I'm telling you guys, two, three trades per week. Because if you can catch these big moves, once you're using like 10 cent lots, that's $700. You catch two of those a week. <coughs> you catch two of those a week and boom, you're going to be up like $1,400 of the week. Okay. Next five minute candle. There's that. Could be a reversal, but I would have still held. Boom, take profit hit. So within 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 minutes, you would have bagged 1,200 pips on that trade. That's a really good trade right there. Okay, that's just one day. Let me add this in for you guys too. The best days to trade are Monday, Tuesday, Thursday for US 30. Wednesdays are usually very, very choppy. And Fridays are unpredictable, kind of a day to sell off. So I don't really like trading Fridays. That's why my key days, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, maybe. It's the only days I'm trading. So two hypothetical trades right there, trade setups. That was Tuesday. So Monday, let's go back here. Monday was really nice too. Okay, let's go to the open in the market. <coughs> I actually did take this trade on Monday right here. I saw the spinning top. So this was, I think, the market open right here. Same thing. Drop down, made everyone go short. And it went long. Okay, went up, everyone stops and went short. Okay, here's that entry candle right there. I th saw that hammerhead and I went long. And I think I targeted, yeah, I targeted this golden zone right here. I had my stops right below that wick. I actually think I, I targeted this golden zone up here, yeah. Okay, within five, there's our reaction, quick reaction, five, 10, 15, 20, within 20 minutes, you would have bagged 1300 pips. So within Monday and Tuesday, just trading those days, you could have had two really good profitable trading days. But what I'm looking for are those reversal candles at certain times. So right here, we can see 640, 645 is when that next candle opened up. So that's that key time again, 7 a.m. was yesterday or the next day after this. We can see that 7 a.m. reversal right there, 655, 7 a.m. And then, Excuse me, guys. And then we have that 645 reversal right here for that candle to give us signs that it's going to continue up. Okay, 645, 7 a.m. and 715. That's my time in California. So, really, guys, that's what I'm looking for those nice reversal candles. Timing is huge. I hope you guys got value from this video. I did drop a couple of real golden nuggets in here. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely would appreciate it if you did. Like I said, guys, if you want to learn how to really trade, like a pro, check out rorfx.com, get the program, it's $212, I'm only doing this deal for a very limited time, usually I'm charging $9.97 for my program, without further ado guys, see you on the next video, peace out.